Um, I bought a bus. A month or two ago. I had been like talking about it for a while, but I don't think I was really that serious about it. But then my brother found one for me. And it was a really, really good deal. And I kind of like hemmed and hawed about it and then decided not to get it. And then I changed my mind and was like, whatever, just get it. But then somebody else beat me to it right then and I was super disappointed. So then I decided if another opportunity comes up, then I better just go for it because I was really disappointed. Like maybe a month later, this exact same bus came back up for sale. And so I just bought it. <laughs> and I made two of my brothers come with me, one to drive my car back up and one for moral support to sit in the bus with me and like keep me from freaking out. And it was such a disaster. Holy sh- Gently! It was so bad, I could not drive it at all. God, throw me out the door! <laughs> Here comes the true test. Are you gonna swipe this car? Oh, oh Emma. Oh, Emma. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Emma. Good God. You're trying. It's just all you wanted. Ouch. <laughs> 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 what do you want us to do? <laughs> Just keep going forward! But I I gradually got a little bit better at it. Enough to where I was able to drive it home. I don't think I can drive this at home. <laughs> but I got it home and I was really proud of myself. This is my Thomas bus. This is my Thomas brother. <laughs> it's named Burby. It's a 2004 Thomas school bus. Okay, time for the tour. Here she is from the front, quite large. And this is the outside. Inside, really crappy. Ceiling's pretty low. And it is full of garbage. Even before we left the town that I bought it in, we stopped at a gas station and realized it was leaking a bunch of oil. So far we have no power steering, massive oil leak, and I don't know how to drive a bus. Luckily this diesel mechanic just happened to be there and pulled up and just helped us and was so nice. I had to drive it back down, got it fixed again. Luckily they did it pretty much for free because they messed it up the first time and then drove it a few days later back up here again. The bus is fixed, and now we're picking it up. Wow, my door is still open. <laughs> <laughs> so now it is parked in the yard and should be there for a while. <laughs> Wake up, 
up to the American dream. Cherry Coke in the bathroom of a club. Influence you. Influence me. Under the influence of my own anxiety. Check your phone. Get some new clothes. Not sure where to begin. Still stuck in my own skin. Dennis Robin, 96, 97, even 99. What a time to be alive. Start a podcast, become a DJ. Try and fill the void inside. I'd be lying if I didn't say that sounds nice. Wake up, check your phone. But the batteries die. Wake up, check your phone. Brush your teeth, calories. Single use plastic, how tragic. Fake friends, real problems. Check your phone, but you're still alone. Wake up, bees are dying off. It's kind of sad. Oh, my bad. Can I have a plus one? Look directly in the sun. Get on the dance floor. Put your hands in the air. 24-7. Happiness. Live stream. No regrets. That hour-long podcast just ended, so I've been working for an hour. All I've really accomplished is tearing off those two small metal sheets off the wall. So, pretty excited about that. I broke my drill bit, so I can't get any more screws out. I don't really know what else to do, so I'm gonna go get a new drill bit and maybe be done for this for today. <laughs>